Greetings from Hawaii. Hello folks. I know it's been a while since I did my last video. And the reason for that, well, there's many reasons for it. You know, life, right? But I got this deck. This is the Klimt Tarot Pocket Golden Edition. It's, it's the small deck, the miniature. And when I saw this to purchase, I thought, my goodness, this is going to be fun to have. Because two things that I love melded together. Fine art by a gifted artist uh, by the name of Gustav Klimt. And tarot. The two things being combined. Can't be anything better than that. And then I got the deck. I was excited for it. I opened it. I was going to do a review on it. Something stopped me. And I think the thing that stopped me is... I felt a little bit disappointed in the way the two mediums of art came together. The paintings, in this case, of Gustav Klimt and Tarot and the associated images that we have about Tarot, most of it the RWS images. But in any case, when art is created specifically for Tarot, and it's an art form in itself, in my opinion, it makes sense because that was the aim of the art to blend the two things together artistic creation and the tarot. And like I said, I had high hopes for the combination of great artists and tarot. Now when I say great artists, I mean specifically taking someone like Gustav Klimt, world famous artist, painter, and then transposing what he's already created, in some cases hundreds of years ago, for some of the great painters. And trying to force tarot imagery to meld to it. From, in my opinion, it just doesn't work. Or didn't work, in this case. And I, I don't think would ever work if you try the same thing with, with any great artist. Imagine trying to impose tarot symbolism onto Van Gogh or Picasso. Just seems to me on the surface that that would be like a great adventure. But as it turns out, not so much, I don't think. Anyway, here's the deck, and you have the cover card, and that's the famous painting by Klimt, The Kiss. And it's not in any particular order, these cards, but, you know, this is the moon. And the imagery itself is beautiful, no doubt about that, because it's based on Klimt's fantastic art but it's hard to make sense out of any of them when you try to combine the symbolism of tarot with this great art created by Klimt tarot in and of itself is a great art as well but we have certain expectations of what the art associated with tarot should look like. And I'm not saying that we're in a box over it. We're not locked in a box over it. But in my opinion, there's, there's got to be a symbiotic relation between 
the art that you're presenting as part of the tarot symbology. This is a page. And and a lot of times here I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what the cards are, but I'm gonna be wrong because uh, you know, I mean, other than having the cups here, th there seems to be no real reason to have associated the cups with this particular Klimt painting. I have no negative thoughts on Klimt's artistic genius. I mean, it's just, it's phenomenal. But again, putting them together here just doesn't work. As far as the, the little tarot book that comes with it, it's okay. It's about, it's in diff five different languages, I think. First 22, 23 pages are in English. And it tries to make a connection to you, for you, between the paintings and tarot, but... There's just no way to meld the two seamlessly. So I, I went through the deck, loved the paintings by Klimt. Always love tarot symbology, obviously. The cup here, love the cup. Pentacle here, very nice. But they didn't come together for me as well as I thought they were going to come together, to tell you the truth. And what I've also concluded, and this is my personal outlook on it, is when the cards are this small, it doesn't wash over the eye like it should, I think. Now, we're all used to, to basically the standard size tarot cards. And when you see the art presented on a tarot card of a regular size and even the, the bigger cards, there's enough space there for the art to rush into your, your vision and then spread out through your brain. And then you can figure out what you're seeing. Here, I think you have to focus a little bit too hard when it's this small. You focus and, and you lose, in my mind, you lose that initial burst of artistic color and definition at first glance. You don't get that first glance wash of art and color because the cards are just too small. You have to focus too hard to, to see what you're seeing. And, and for me, then, if, you, if, if, it's, if it's that way for me when I'm looking at the card, if I use the card in a reading, the person I'm, I'm reading for is not really going to get the connections either because I'm not feeling the connections. So I would never use this deck for a reading. Now, I would suggest that you get this card for your collection. And there's the bigger standard size as well. But I would get this deck for my collection, if I were you. But I don't know, perhaps people that can read tarot better than I can, not better, but are, are, are more used to reading tarot, have more experience in reading tarot, could use these cards and do it very well. In fact, I'm sure of it. So my overall review on this is that, yes, I love that I bought it and it's in my collection. I'm going to keep it forever. It's one of my babies now, one of my children in my tarot collection. I don't think I'll ever be a learned enough tarot reader to use them in a reading. And, and I think, like I said, they're too small. And this is the first miniature deck that I've got, or a small deck, or whatever you call these mini editions, right? The mini editions. And maybe it's because I just got old eyes, 
but it's just it's too small uh, to really have a burst of artistic wash for you on the initial look like I said because you have to focus too closely on the card to get what it's saying you know or get the art itself so that detracts, I think, from it. So my overall review is that I get this for my collection, and I have, and I'm happy with it. I would not use it for reading, and I don't think taking two great art forms, in this particular case, um, on the one side you have Klimt, Gustav Klimt's fabulous paintings, and then the imagery of tarot, sort of superimposed on it, on those art pieces that Gustav created, it just doesn't meld for me. And of course, that's a personal opinion. I'm sure others will have their own opinion right here. The Empress, look how that one's pretty nice. And again, that is the Queen of Pentacles, not the Empress. So you see, it, it confuses me because it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't wash over me and it, it doesn't look familiar. And that's one of the reasons I think trying to force or superimpose the symbolism of tarot onto masterpieces that already exist and had nothing to do with tarot in their creation completely separate, trying to force the two together just didn't seem to work in this particular case. And again, like I said earlier, I don't think it would work with the other greats like Van Gogh, Picasso, and all the other great painters out there. And, and that's, that's kind of a sad thing for me to admit because I love both art forms, tarot, and the fine paintings of great artists. So I'm having kind of a hard time with it, but you know, after a few weeks of looking at these cards over and over and over again and trying to come to grips with them, trying to come to peace with the melding of the two things, tarot and great art that already exist as separate from tarot just doesn't come together for me but overall get the deck get it in your collection and love it like you do all your other tarot decks before I go I just want to introduce a new a new air plant that has come to live with us here. Uh, this is Sunshine, I named her Sunshine. She's beautiful, see? She came in her own little sea urchin cup. Very nice. So Sunshine is now part of the family and she's doing well, she's doing well. So again, Klimt Tarot, Pocket Golden Edition. Love it as a collector's item wouldn't use it as a tarot deck. Hate to end it on a negative note when it comes to tarot, but the positive side is I would, I'm definitely happy to have it in my collection and will keep it forever. Well, that's about it, folks. Kindest thoughts, and I'll see you next time.